Good morning. For the second time in four months, the last three Red Sox World Series trophies paid a visit to Vermont. And this time, they brought an old friend, a real old friend, the 1912 World Series trophy, joining the 04, 07, and 2013 trophies at Centennial Field prior to yesterday's first pitch between the Lake Monsters and Lowell Spinners. Now, since the Spinners are the Red Sox single-A affiliate, it's a nice tie-in for Vermont's baseball fans that support both the Red Sox and the Monsters. The 1912 trophy is privately owned, which is why it is rarely available for public viewing. The most amazing part was to hear that 1912 was going to be here. Uh, they've changed quite a bit in a hundred years. Honestly, the 1912 piece is the most interesting part of it, but yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to be able to remember back to 04 and 07 and 13 as well. So they, they were all very different. As for the game itself, Vermont trailing by a run in the bottom of the first turn to one of the hottest hitters in the New York Penn League, Justin Higley with a deep blast. It's a two-run homer. His fourth home run of the season, 2-1 Monsters, but Lowell answers right back with a run in the second and two more in the third. Sam Travis with the two-run shot to center as Lowell goes on to the 7-5 win. The Red Hot Vermont Mountaineers hosting Danbury last night at Montpelier Rec Field. Scoreless game until the fourth. Alex Caruso leading off with a double, then Mike Vigliarolo singles to left. Caruso scores, and it's 1-0 Vermont. Danbury ties it at 1 in the sixth. But the Mountaineers open it up in the seventh. Two on for Essex native Adam Picard. He sends one deep to right. It is an RBI double. Two one Mountaineers. The next batter, Josh Treff, goes up the middle for the RBI single. The Mountaineers add one more in the inning to take a 4-1 lead. Vermont getting three solid performances on the mound. Elliot Ashbeck starts it. Jared Gessel closes it. The Mountaineers go on to the 4-1 win. They have taken 10 out of their last 12 games. Congrats to Shelburne's Molly Aronson. She won her first career event on the Symmetra Tour yesterday by one shot at the Island Resort Championship in Michigan. Aronson is a Rice Memorial grad. It's her fourth year on the Symmetra Tour, which is one step away from the LPGA Tour. That's it for now. Scott Fleischman, Channel 3 Sports. Have a great day.